got a great challenge ahead of us this weekend, Sunday night, uh, playing in a great environment uh, against a, a, a great quarterback and uh, offense. So it's going to be another challenge for us, and we're looking forward to it. And with that, I'll open it up to questions. Thank you. You love to make comparisons. Right. This week, Josh Allen, who or what <laughs> would you compare him to? All right. You ready? Yeah, yeah. Marino's arm, Henry's legs, and Curry's mindset, Steph Curry's mindset. He can hit it. Any, he thinks he can hit it anywhere on the court, and that's the same, same way Josh is. Uh, he's a, just an unbelievably uh, elite quarterback of, of finding some extra time to hit the open receiver in tight windows, and, and he's got a, one of the strongest arms in the league. Like in a bigger picture, how much, how different is this challenge to last week with the speed? Yeah, uh, it's a complete different challenge. You know? What are what are the most you know? Um, the actual speed of it, there's, you know, there's still a fast offense. You know, obviously with Diggs and the receiver core, um, it's not as many uh, motions and you know how they have Miami and, and both Miami and San Francisco has that core. You know, all that coordinated very well that makes it tough on guys' eyes. And it, it, you won't see as much much of that because, you know, it's a, it's more of a blueprint NFL offense where Josh runs everything at the line of scrimmage and calls his plays and, and uh, gets him in the right play. And when you have a bunch of guys moving, that's hard to do. What did, what did the, the Jets and the Jags do? to beat them. I mean, obviously they're a very good team, but what is, is there things you can take from those two teams to maybe help you? Someday? Yeah, I, I think that that's, you know, that's that's the thing that, you know, we talk about all the time. It's a copycat league. You see things, uh, you know, that you like and, you know, there's different situations, you know, whatever it could be. Uh, but you, you always take things and see things and you know, tweak it or say this is similar to us and, our, you know, in our, our scheme and, and, you know, you can do things like that. Yes. Is that like for you? Because you don't have a you know cookie cutter scheme. Is it harder for you to copycat? I mean, you just kind of borrow stuff and fit it into your system. Like, how yeah, does that work? we don't. It, it's usually in our system, you know, already. So I, you know, it's it's more of, uh, you know, what what gives them a hard time on you know certain aspects of their game. And I don't want to get too deep into it because I feel like I'm gonna give something away. So, what what did you make of? Uh, Sunday's former season. You finally get the takeaways right before you get through them, but then give up 524. So what, what do you make of that? Well, I, I think that if you talk to analytics, we were in a, a what do they call it, a high, high variable situation there. I think you had to do something different. And, you know, with the last time we did something different to the extreme that we did in Miami, it was Kansas City when we were at Baltimore. And we won that game and uh, we gave up too many explosive plays. I mean, that's obvious. Uh, but, uh, you know, I always say the takeaways, you know, they come in bunches. You know, we had the fumble recovery. We had the two picks. We caused another fumble. And, uh, you know, if we keep playing at that, that type tempo to get to the ball, I think, you know, that's, that's one of the things that was different from what they practiced that helped us get in those situations. What happened on the Tyreek long touchdown at the start of the first half from your perspective? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I think that's a schematic thing. I know we fixed it, and I don't want to sit there and tell you how we fixed it or anything else because I know we're going to see that play again. And, uh, you know, it's got to be the same coverage and everything else. But, uh, I don't, you know, I, I just know that uh, Jordan, that, you know, they're going to try the same thing, you know. Somebody it might not be Buffalo, it could be Washington or whoever you know, in that situation. From a personnel standpoint, when did you know Dory wasn't going to be there, and like how, um, did, how did the mechanics of that got, work? You got to talk to Dave's on that. Dave's and the trainers. Um, so it was uh, it was unfortunate because you know we, you know, like I said, we, we gave him a different look. You know, it was a, in in, a, in our eyes, a, you know, it was a one score game at halftime, a net twenty one point game. And uh, it was it was unfortunate that that, that that play happened. Do you do you have guys, even though as a group it hasn't looked great? Do you, do you have guys individually who you feel like are playing good football right now? Yeah, I, I think there's you know, I thought X you know is is playing well. Um, I think it's going to continue to grow. Obviously JP, 
you know, taking it back 100, 102 yards. Um, uh, Kayvon, um, Bobby, starting to really get used to, you know, playing the mic position and, and, and starting to make more plays. It's, you know, the same thing we talked about last week, and we just got to continue to work on it. It's when you have, you know, one guy that had one or two plays that they wish they had back, you know what I mean? You you usually win those games or, you know, you play really well defensively. But if you have six guys and they could be any, you know, any of the guys I mentioned or anybody else that have one or two plays they wish they had back, that's where you start, you know, giving up too many plays. How about the two guys in the middle with the two vets? What's that? Dex, Dex and Leo. Yeah, I, I, I mean, like that game right there, it was, we defended every blade of grass and they were going to make sure that they were not involved in it. So, I mean, if you think back at it or just, you know, with your memory, everything was zoop, 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 or zoop. So it wasn't anything around the center. Wait, you guys okay. played three more. You guys played in London last year and then had to play the next week. Buffalo is doing that now. Um, is it a point where that travel doesn't really have an impact on a team anymore the way it maybe used to? I hope it has a huge impact. <laughs> last year I didn't, but I hope this year it has a huge impact. Um, uh, that was, uh, you know, that, that that's that's a tough that's a tough trip. So I, I don't know how they've handled it, you know, with their schedule and everything else. What are you seeing from Bobby? You mentioned him you know, just getting more comfortable with the mic position, but week by week, how has he grown more accustomed? Uh, I just think that he is seeing things better as, a, as, as the middle linebacker. Um, and he's, you know, he's put in the extra work. He's doubled down on, on, on playing well and, and doing what he has to do to play well. So I, I love his leadership, his communication skills. And, and he's really he's really on the come of starting to really take off. And he's been good anyway. You know what I mean? I'm just saying he's playing better. You're seeing more plays. You're seeing, you know, him coming downhill and hitting people down, you know, down the red zone and things like that. That uh, it's really starting to show out. I don't know if you have a comparison for Diggs, but you know what makes him so effective? He's like those guys that sell a lot of jerseys. I mean, you know, you can talk about you can talk about all of them. As far as uh, the guys who want the ball and and uh, game-winning situations, and he's one of those guys, and uh, makes a lot of plays. Has you know has great hands, uh, runs routes. Sometimes runs his own routes. I mean, I you know I've talked to our, our, our the defense about you know plaster coverage because the combination of those two with Josh and Diggs, I mean it, it turns into like when you're growing up playing football at recess. You know, they just start, you know, the play breaks down. You got to defend the second play, the third play. And, and like I said, Josh is elite at avoiding the rush, buying time. And uh, and he can put the ball wherever he wants, you know. Are you getting any more sleep this week? No. <laughs> no. 